Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it and give him the praise and the honor and the glory, the word of praise. We are coming today to you from Pomona, California. Herbert Lee English, pastor of One Lord Murray Church, Sister Joanne English, First Lady. We thank you for listening in this morning. I don't know if you're going to get this message, but if you don't, praise God. We just go over the other ones. And look at those. God is good and worthy of praise. We're going to have our scripture reading. And after scripture reading, we're going to have a prayer. And we'll let the Lord lead. After that, what did he say? The scripture reading will be coming from 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter. I'm going to read 1 through 5. Mm-hmm. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 5. I had another scripture, but somehow he led me to this one. I'm going to obey the Holy Spirit. Uh huh. The Spirit is in charge. And it reads I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who shall judge the quick and the dead. Yes. At his appearing and his kingdom. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Repute, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and mm -hmm. doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves, teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Yes. Fables. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Yes. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his holy word and the hearers. Mm-hmm. Dear Father God, we come before you this morning, come to your throne of grace. Yes, Lord. Lord, first we want to confess of anything we might have said or done mm -hmm. that's not pleasing to you. We want to ask for forgiveness. Now, we want to come before you, Holy God, with the right spirit and a clean heart. We thank you for watching over us as we slept and slumbered. Kept us, Lord, throughout the night. From any harm or danger. Mm -hmm. We give you the praise, Lord. We couldn't keep ourselves because we didn't even know we was asleep. But you watched over us, Lord. You had your God and angels to watch over us, Lord. Kept us from any harm, Lord, or danger. We give you the praise and honor. Thank you for being a loving God. Hallelujah. Without you, we have no hope. But with you, we have hope. So we just thank you. And, Lord, we just want to lift up those that's on our prayer list. It's many of them, Lord. Can't remember all the names, but there's some names I, I do want to remember. And, Lord, I ask you to bless our first lady, Lord. By your strife, you said we were healed, Lord. So touch even now, Lord. We're going to believe she's healed, Lord. She has to come to it, Lord. You said, be of, you said your word, Lord. We don't, Lord, be of good courage. And he will strengthen us. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Now, wait me by faith. Yes, Lord. Keep believing, Lord. Rise up, sister. Rise up. It's Lord, I, I, you know, I, I believe you. Yes, Lord. We all believe that she's going to be, we know she's going to be fine. Why? Because you said you would give us desires of our hearts. That, that is our desire, Lord, for her to be healed, Lord. She's a beautiful servant. You need well servants. Mm. 
Yes, Lord. Well, servant, Lord, to do your work, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank Pray you. for the pastor, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. He continues strengthening him, Lord. You know, it's a weight on him, Lord, but you, you said you would not put any more on us than we can bear, Lord. So. That's what you said, Lord. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it looks like we can't hey. go any further, Lord. Mm -hmm. But we have to call on your name. So Lord, Lord, help me. Lord. Sometimes we all have to say one word, help. Thank you, Jesus. I need your help, Lord. Mm. And you're there, Lord. All you want us to do is ask. Say, we have not because we ask not. So, Lord, we're going to trust in your word. Mm -hmm. Your word, Lord. You said it, and we believe it. So touch, Lord. Everyone that's on the prayer list, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And thank you for keeping the doors open here at one, Lord. We don't know, Lord, with your plan, but you said what two or three gathered mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in your mm -hmm, name. Mm -hmm. You have been in the midst. In the midst. We can, all, we have to do, all we can do is just stand on your word and mm -hmm. believe it, Lord. We believe your word. You said it. Hallelujah. All of our steps, Lord. Mm -hmm. All of our steps, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We don't want to make a move unless you move us, Lord. You tell us, Lord. We want to follow you, Lord, mm -hmm. because we know you can do anything but fail. Lord, have mercy. So, Lord, do your mighty works, Lord. Do yes, your mighty Father. works, Lord. I don't want to see your plan, Lord. Mm. I want to see your mighty works, Lord. Yes, Father. I want to see your mighty works. Thank you. You don't need a whole bunch of peeps to do mm -hmm, your work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You said two or three. Two or three. That's Ooh, word, Lord. Lord. So we're going mm -hmm. to work with the two or three. We're going to stand with the two or three, Lord, till you say something different, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for all that you do, Lord, and all that you promise to do, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Continue blessing uh, your servant, Lord. Pray for my wife, Lord. Touch her, Lord. Mm. Touch her, what she's going through, Lord. You yes. said, I am God to hear the truth. Yes. Strengthen the Lord in uh -huh. the name of Jesus, Lord. Power. Give us all strength. power. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask for anointing, Lord. Mm. Holy Ghost power. We need Holy mm. Ghost power. Hey. You anointed. Mm -hmm. Because your anointing is what breaks the yoke, Lord. You say, bring all of our burdens to you and leave them there, Lord. So we cast them at your feet, Lord. Not to take them away, Lord. Leave them there, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord. Oh, we praise your name this morning, Lord. You're worthy of praise, Lord. You're so worthy, Lord. You're so worthy, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. All the one that's going through sickness, Lord. Just thank you, Lord, and I praise your holy name. Lord, you're worthy to be praised. And we give you all the praise this morning, Lord, and what you've done, what you say, what you promised to do, Lord. We, we're going to believe your promises. We're going to stand on them. And I pray for my family, Lord. I pray for my daughter that be with her, Lord, the decisions she's making. I pray for mm -hmm, my granddaughter mm -hmm. and help her, Lord, to yes. recognize, Lord, she, uh, I pray for her salvation. Mm. We dedicate our life, and she mm -hmm, knows mm -hmm. I want to do whatever is right, Lord. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Bless my great grandson, Hippon. Name of Jesus, Lord, and the Father. All of my family, Lord. Mm -hmm, yes, Lord, mm -hmm. is not walking with you, Lord. Lord. I pray for their uh, their salvation, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray for uh, the leaders, Lord. Of the uh, he say, pray for the one who have rule over you, Lord. Pray for our leaders, our president, vice mm -hmm. president, all the elected officials. Yes, Lord. The court system, Lord High Court, Lord. Yes, Lord. The governor's law, that you would help them to do whatever they uh, promised to do when they got in office, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Put it in your hands, Lord. They're worried about being wars, but your words say they're going to be wars and rumors of wars. So we don't know. Whatever happened, Lord, we, we know you are in charge. You're in charge, Lord. You have all power. Your all power is in your hands, Lord. And you're everywhere, Lord. And you know everything, Lord. Yes. So, Lord, we're going we're gonna to give it to you, Lord. We just thank you for this time, Lord. We continue blessing your servant, Lord. That's all I want to do is just do the thing that pleases you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Yes, Lord. Brother Pastor, I'm going to give it to you. All right. Praise his name. God is good, Brother Pastor. Yes. Yes, he is.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God is definitely good. There you go. Because while we was yet sinners, he sent his only begotten son to go to the cross and die for our sins. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a I'm happy this Sunday morning. Uh, I'm happy today. I'm happy today. And I, I want to talk about this new creature, this, 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 this new creation, this new creature. Because, you see, when we start talking about that new creature, all we're doing is going back to the very beginning when we were that perfect, sinless being that we was made to be in the Garden of Eden with Adam. That's that, that's that new creature. And when Jesus came and died and went to the cross. But see, that, 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 that's just part of it. See, dying and going to the cross was part of it. But he got to come up. He had to come up out the grave. Otherwise, we would still be lost. He come up and he says, he has the keys. Hey, he said, I got the keys. And he said, I got all power, all power. And he made that bridge from, from man back to God. He was the only one that could do it. The only one that could do it. That spotless lamb, John the Baptist saw him and says, uh, the, the lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. See, I'm home. I'm home. I'm glad to be this new creature, this new creation. And my text is coming from the book of Luke, the book of old Dr. Luke. And uh, turn over there to that 19th chapter of Luke. And go over to that uh, 23rd verse and the 24th verse of Luke. And uh, while you get in there, I'm going to pray. Father, I just want to thank you for this fifth Sunday morning. And, 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 and I don't remember doing anything to, to be able to be standing here Sunday, but God did. But God did. And I'm glad about it. And I want to thank him from, from what he did to, oh, over 30 years ago. Over 30 years ago, he had mercy on me. He had mercy on me. See, see, this is actually a, a, a story about me. But it's a story about all the born again. This new creation. This new creature. Because you see, everybody here was born in the natural. Everybody here was born in the natural. And I'm glad about it. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we ask that you open eyes today. We give, give, give them attentive ear. Because those with an ear, let them hear. Let them hear, Lord. Let them hear. And we just want to thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now this new creature. Let's take a look at this new creature. In the, in the brother, uh, that's, brother, that's uh, Dr. Luke, the ninth chapter, the 23rd and 24th verse. And it reads like this. And he said to them all, everybody that was present, he's talking to his disciples, but he's talking to everybody there was present. He said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, underline deny himself. And then he says, take up his cross daily and follow me. And see, when you take up your cross daily, the born again, we have to put on that new man again. Yesterday won't do for the day. You got to put on that new man and you got to pick up that cross daily. He said, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. 
Oh, Lord. See, see, my pastor say, you know, salvation is free, but it's going to cost you everything that you got. And let's just look at this. Let's look at this. This new creature. Jesus told uh, Nicodemus. He told Nicodemus, he says, you must be born again. And Nicodemus, being a natural man, says, how can I groan, go back into my mother's womb and come out again? Uh, if you would, turn your Bibles to John 3, 6. And that's what it says. He said, that which is born of flesh is flesh. See? Nicodemus was a, was a man in the church, high-ranking man in the synagogue of the Jews. And Jesus told him, you must be born again. And in the not being a natural man, he says, uh, how can I go back into my mother's womb? I am a grown man. And look what Jesus says. He says, he says, uh, he says, he says, that which is born of flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. You must be born again. And there's nothing that you can do. It's a gift that is given. But you have to ask for the gift. And he says, if any man will come after me, he says, he says, let him deny himself. That's something that we have to do. Now, this natural man and that soul man has been together since the womb. And, and to show you that uh, we have a sin nature, and it's all about me in the natural. A baby can't talk. Can't feed himself, can't, 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 can't go to the bathroom without going on himself. At that little baby, he has power. He will cry just for the mother to come and pick him up. And it takes a mother two or three kids where she, before she know the different cries, what it means. I, uh, my mother says, uh, I said, Mama, uh, one of my little brothers or sisters is crying, and she said, yeah, but he, don't, he or she don't want nothing, just want to be picked up. And I'm busy, I ain't picking her up. But then that same baby could make another cry, and the mama will come immediately because the baby needs something. But that's not the point I want to talk about. I want to talk about don't need nothing and calling to get help. A little bitty baby will cry until it gets his way. Don't want none, just won't be picked up and hold and hug and kissed and talked to two and three and four o'clock in the morning. So this baby from the womb to infancy has a nature. And the Bible calls it a sin nature. It's all about me being satisfied. That's why Jesus says, if any man will come after me, he has to do something. He says, let him deny himself. Oh, Lord. But I have needs and wants and desires, Lord. And he says that, but they're all sinful. They're all sinful. And even the ones that are not sinful have a hook to it. See, God, when I do certain things, uh, God will ask me one question. What is your motive? Isn't that something? That even when I do good, or try to do what the world called is good, I got a motive. I don't do it because it's good. I do it because I'm looking for a reward. I'm looking for a payday. And what I used to do when I was in the world, I would say that to, 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 to balance these scales, because I know I'm going to do a whole bunch of bad. See, it used to be just Friday and Saturday. Then as I got older, it was every day. So I would have to do some good because I wanted to balance the scale because I didn't want to go to hell in case there was a hell. I didn't want to go. He says, if any man will come after me, first you have to deny yourself. Now, when you deny yourself, that's to tell you something, that it costs to be a disciple of God. It costs to be one of Jesus' disciples. It costs for Jesus to say when the devil goes up to heaven and says, uh, talk about brother and sister so-and-so, and God looks over at Jesus 
And Jesus said, he's one of mine. God said, I find no fault with him, devil. I find no. So there is a cost for discipleship. There is a cost. He said, he said, he said, he said, being born again of uncorruptible seed. I say, 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 how can I, Nicodemus say, how can I go back in as a man and be born again? And Jesus says, uh, Jesus said, it's a spiritual birth. It's a spiritual birth, and I'm the only one that can give it to you. But you have to do something. You got to deny your wants. He said, he said, he said, he said, you have to deny, he said, then you have to deny yourself and take up your cross. Say, Lord, why do I have a cross? Why would I need a cross? Because there's, I should have some shame for all the sin that I've done. And see, some people say, I can't read. It's been so long ago since I sinned, brothers, I can't remember. Then see, you are a liar. And God said, no liars are going to heaven. Because you did it, you should remember. See? see? And if you don't remember, it's because you choose not to. See? And that means you're not picking up your cross daily and following God. Because that shame. See? That shame. The, for, for, for a Jew to be hanging on a tree... That's the ultimate shame. And that's why he says, pick up your cross, Brother English. Pick up your sins and follow me. Because that cross represent punishment. See? It represent punishment for something that I've done. And I have to do it daily. See? Some people say, well, you know, Brother English, I'm born again. I'm just going to sit back there by the door. And uh, as soon as service over, I'm going to leave out and because I'm going to come in late. That's why I'm sitting back there in the back. But, you know, I found out when I was a little kid in school that the closer I was up to the front were the classes that I liked the best. And the class that I was good in math and science, I'd sit on the front row and raise my hand every time. See? And the classes I didn't like, like foreign languages or chemistry, I'd get way in the back. See? And the Bible says those who get close to the fire are the ones who are up front. The farther back you are, the cooler you are. See? The ones who want Christ and love him are all close to the front. He said, he said, for who, whosoever will save his life. And let me tell you something. This life is short. You see, even if you lived 120 years, in God's economy, that's two hours, 53 minutes, and 20 seconds. And when you talk about eternity, that's the, it, it won't even show up. It won't even show up. See, see, it won't even show up. He says, he says, he says, that which is born of flesh is flesh. And this flesh is going to go back to the dirt where it came from. But that soul man still exists. And you know, I was young uh, in the ministry, and I would go and do a, a funeral, and I uh, found out that there were funerals and there were home going. And uh, I even have a book that says, uh, this is the kind of funeral, this is the kind of message you preach at a funeral, and this is the kind of message you sing, do at a home going. But I, I got a revelation here not long ago. Hmm. The last part of last year, or, or this January, that all funerals are home going because you either going to heaven or you going to hell, but you're going home. You're going home. You're going home because there is a payday one day. See, see, there, there is a cost for sinning. There is a cost for sinning. It says, it says, it says uh, 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 that you have to bear this cross. He says, uh, you, in order to put on this new man, he said, I can't put it in old wine skin. It has to be put in a new thing. See? This, see, see, this born again is real. This born again is real. It, it's, it's, it's not no thing like I said, I looked and my hands was new. and I, the, the, No, 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 no. Look what it says. It says all things. He said, all things become. See? So, 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 so they're not, they're not that way at, at, at all until they become. He said, he said, that which is flesh is born of flesh. And that which is spirit is born of spirit. 
he says, he says, for the wages of sin is death. See, so, so there's a payday. There is a payday. Nobody's going to get out of this thing without going before him. He said, every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. So there is a payday. And there is a call. He said, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Look who is through. Jesus Christ, our Lord. See, so we have a good paymaster. See, people say, well, Brother Ignis, uh, God wouldn't send me to heaven. I said, no, you're right about that. God will, your record is what's going to send you to heaven. Because he said, every word that came out your mouth and every deed is going to be brought before him. It's going to be brought before him. And he says, whosoever will save his life will lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall shave it. You got to come to Christ. You got to come to Christ. There is, there, there is no other way that you can do. Look what he says in 2 Corinthians. Turn over there so we won't be, we won't say I'm, I, I made it up. Turn over there to 2 Corinthians 5, 17. He says, he says, he says, he says, he says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Look what he see. But most people miss this last part. Look at it. Look, 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 look at it. Look like he said, behold, that means, whoa, why? wait, wait, wait. There's some coming, brother. Ingram. There's some coming. He said, behold, all things are become new. See, <laughs> we're, we're down, we're down here. This is, this is, I call it basic training. I call it basic training because it says the wages of sin is death. Well, good deeds. Good deeds is a reward. There's a, there's a reward for that too. See, there, everybody going to have a payday. Everybody going to have a payday. And we'll see if, 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 if you followed Christ, or if you didn't, pastor used to, my pastor used to tell me, he says, uh, if a Christian is a duck and you leave church and you follow these duck tracks, but the closer you get to his house, the tracks begin to change. See, if I'm following a duck, when I catch up with you, I should find a duck. You see, if you go and look under my orange tree, you won't find no lemons. You won't find no peaches. You won't find no plums. You will find lemons because it's a lemon tree. But see, we, 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 we'll, we'll change on you. We'll, we'll, we'll change on you. Oh, Sunday, I'm, uh, Sunday, I'm somebody. Come Monday morning, I'm somebody else. He says, being born again, not of corrupt seed, but of a incorruptible. And you can't do that in the natural. Everybody here was born in the natural, but you can't get to heaven that way. You have to accept Christ. You have to accept Christ. You must be born again. You, this new creature is a spiritual being. But just like anything, my pastor said, well, uh, a baby needs milk. And a baby Christian needs the word of God. Say, how can you hear? Without a preacher. A lot of people say, well, you know, I don't have to go to church. You know, I, you know, uh, I, 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 I was born again, listened to a, a religious uh, station and uh, this and that and says no, because uh, you won't know you can't follow Christ unless you have a shepherd. People say, oh, no, I, 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 I know which way. Well, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's why that's why it says uh, that 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 you need a shepherd. He said the shepherd would put, 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 put the sheep into the sheepfold the night. And then he would come in the next morning. He'd open up the sheepfold at the door because uh, he's the only one that has a, a key to the door is the shepherd. And he'd call out his sheep and they follow him. He said they will not follow a stranger. Okay? They will not follow a stranger. He says, uh, but whosoever will lose his life. See, that cost of discipleship, you have to give up 
People say, I'm not Brother English. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't give up my life. I can't give up my life. You know, I, I, I worked hard. I went to school and to be this in this position. I said, OK. If you lived 120 years. And got all the things that this life had for you. And you died. And this life that you had was two hours, 53 minutes and 20 seconds. I don't care how much pleasure you had. One moment in hell was take it away. One moment in hell would take it away. Because when God poured all the sins of the world on Jesus, after they had said Jesus didn't say a mumbling word, he hollered out, oh, Lord, oh, God, why have thou forsaken me? Just a moment out of God's presence. If God himself hollered out. What is man going to do? What is man going to do? So while there's yet light, he says, and take up his cross daily and follow me. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. The same shall save it. See, for, for, for this moment, and it's only a moment, it's only a moment, it's just a brief moment that we have to to walk this thing. And I know sometimes it seemed long. I, 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 I've had a, 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 a terrible month. This, just, just my body, everything just went haywire. My blood pressure, my, my sugar, my diabetes. It was just, everything just out, out of control. And my doctor says, well, what's going on, Lee? What's going on? What's going on? And to see, I know I'm at war. I know I have an enemy. And I know he means me no good thing. He has no goodness in his heart for me. It's he wants to, to destroy me. Because he knows if he destroys me, he's going to destroy some other people. He said, being born again, not of corrupt. See, when I accepted Christ, the war began. And the war didn't begin outside of my body. The, the war began inside of my body. This is the way Paul said it. He said, the things that I would do, I do not. And the things that I would not do, that I do. In plain English is this. The spiritual man and the soul man are at war. Because the soul man, excuse me, the spiritual man is at war with just the, the soul man and the flesh man. Because the soul man and the flesh man have been together in the womb. And here come this new creation. This new creature have came on the scene. Once you are born again, my pastor said like this, when he heard the word, he went, what? That was his spirit waking it up. Once your spirit wake up, and he said he started dumping all his alcohol bottles and dumping all the things. This is on Saturday. And Sunday he went to church and accepted Christ. Boom. See? But he started out. See, that should be a change, a beginning of a change. Uh, uh, things that you used to do, you don't do no more. And after a while, I know a friend of mine, he, he accepted Christ. And he says, uh, when I go to work tomorrow, how am I going to keep all these bad people that I've been, been socializing with from come trying to tempt me? to do the things that I used to do. And I asked him uh, after about a week long, he says, you know what? I didn't have to try to avoid those people. They avoided me. See, that's the kind of God that I serve. See, God, God will do all things if you admit one thing. Father, I need some help. I, 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 don't, I don't think I can deal with these people that I've been running around with doing the things that I've been doing if they keep coming around me. And God said, no problem. I'll make sure they don't come around you. See? You got to tell God the short, your, your shortcomings and your weaknesses. Tell God your shortcomings and weaknesses. Tell him. See? See? God want to have a personal relationship. He wants to have a personal relationship. He said, he said, he said put on that new man, Brother England. Put on that new man. And that means to pick up my cross daily. 
Every, yesterday, yesterday, yesterday is over. And today, all the troubles of the day is enough for today. Hey? But a lot of us, we bring yesterday's stuff into today and yesterday's stuff in the day, and we carry all that junk around with us. See, God says the only somebody who will bring up your past sins is the devil. See? And the devil will use people. And you say, brother, how's that? Uh, Jesus was telling his disciples that he was going to have to die and he had to go to Jerusalem. And Peter said, not so, Lord. And Jesus said to Peter, get behind me, Satan. And the, the, the Bible says Jesus told him that because Peter was doing the devil's work, but the devil was also present. So he, when he told Peter to get behind, he was telling Peter and the devil, since you're doing the devil's work, you get behind me too. See? Get behind me. Get behind Because God does not do business with the devil. And we who are born again have to cut ties. How often, brother, is daily. You got to cut ties daily because yesterday fight is over and tomorrow is a brand new fight. You see, I can't. I, but what, what I can do and we Christians should do it more often. Look back and see where God has brought us. Look back and see all the battles that God has won in your life so that so that this thing. Sustain this thing. Look back and see what God has already done. And you can say, God, you did it for me then. And guess what? You're going to do this for me, too. That's the kind of God I serve. Nothing is impossible for my God. And all I got to do is tell him. All I got to do. Him. And this is for Sister Mary, too. All you got to do is tell him. Tell him. And then, then, then get down on your knees and say, thank you. Not for what you're going through, but what he's already done. And that'll give you strength to fight this thing that you're going to. He said, put on that new man or put on that new woman. He said, and, and, but you see, you got to pick up your cross when you put on that new man. No, it, 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 to be a disciple of Christ is called. He hated Jesus with no, with, with, with no cause, but he hated us with cause. He hate us with cause. He hate the shell that we're in. He hates the shell that we're in. So he hates us with call. He said, whosoever, so he said, he said, he said, he said, whosoever will save his life, he shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. See, this Holy Ghost is free. That's going to cost you everything you got. This Holy Ghost is free. See? And it cost, see, Jesus, it cost him. It cost him. It cost him. Because to come into your own and your own receive you not. It's just like, and, 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 and all that, it, but, but, but when you think about when you first got saved and you went back into your house, then everybody ain't saved at the same time. So there's a war going on inside your own house. But you see, but you see, God, that's why God tells the woman, if she gets saved first, don't, don't batter that over the man. He's still Lord. He's still Lord. He's still in charge. He's still in charge. But see, you just got to, you got to just tell him and, and, and keep praying for him and, and keep telling him and keep praying for him. He said, he said, he said, that which is born of flesh is flesh. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. And he says, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. So the spirit man or woman, see, should be able to suffer, suffer the, the, the unsaved or the weaker or the weaker one. That's all it is. And see, when God tells the person who Jesus is, and see, God is the only one who can tell you who Jesus is. See? I can, I can, I can, I can plant. And I can water, but I can't give the increase. Hey, and Jesus said, I'm going to leave you a comforter. That Holy Ghost. But see, somebody got to tell. Somebody got to tell, and you got to keep telling. So I told them yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday. This day is day. It's brand new day. Brand new day. And see, that new man don't remember yesterday. That new cross don't remember yesterday. It's, see, it's, it's everything is fresh. Everything is fresh. And see, I, 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 I love it, this new creature. This new creature. 
this new creature. Because let me tell you, this new creature is long suffering. He's meek. Hey, hey. And see, he and, and, and guess what? He is not God. No, he has no fight. He has no fight because we're not at war yet. See? See? We're, we're, we're not at war yet. See? Jesus ain't come back. We're not at war yet. We're, 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 we're supposed to bring peace. See? We're supposed to bring joy. See? 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 He said, if, if they won't take my joy, I'll take it back. If they won't take my peace, I'll take it back. But not madly. See? Because the Bible says... If Sodom and Gomorrah had this book that we got, they would repent with sackcloth. They would repent. And we talk about how bad Sodom and Gomorrah is, but it ain't nothing like today. Whew. I look around, I see things that are, I have to close my eyes watching some TV pro and some commercials. I have to close my eyes. It's bad. It is bad. The things that we do and accept is it's just horrible. And then we say, try to make it normal. Won't, won't me to agree with it. No, I, I, won't, I won't agree with it. And I'll tell you, there's only one way to God. One way to God. Jesus says, I am the door. No man comes through the Father unless he come through me. But see, I, I, uh, I'm, well, yeah, I guess there are some other ways to come. No, no. I was looking at something the other day and it was saying, uh, 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 my pastor would say it like this. Any religion that Jesus is not the cornerstone is a cult. And that's what we got to say. It's a cult. It's a cult. It's a cult. See? Now we got people running around before we, when they, have, they say, they say, the Bible say you hear people say that uh, uh, Jesus is over here and, and Jesus is over there. He said, believe it not. He said, believe it not. He ain't over here. He going to come. This is where he going to come. Straight down. He went up and he will come. So he ain't going to be over here and over there. He going to come and everybody, everybody who wants to see going to see him. Everybody who wants to see him is going to see him. And see, the only people who going to see him is this new creature. This new creation, this one who's born of the spirit. Hey, that's the one. That's the one going to see him. But he must deny himself. See, see, and, 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 I, and, I, and I tell people it's short lived. A uh, 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 deacon was, 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 was praying for uh, some people in my family who are hooked up on drugs. And, and, and it's so easy to do, to get started. But it's hard. See, once you let the devil in and he come through drugs and alcohol, he comes in sexual perversion. He comes in. But see, the Bible said that's all lust. That's all lust. That's all lust. See, but if you humble yourself and be long suffering, see, that long suffering is 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 is, is don't look down on nobody. Don't look down on nobody. You see, because the only one is high and he looks down. But not to look down. He looked down because you know, he, that's the only way he could look because he had is nothing above him. But see, God left us here in this training ground. He says, I left you in the world, to, but not to be of the world. See, he left us here not to be of the world. He left us here to be in the world so that we could be that shining light. In the, in the beginning, God says, the word said, let there be light. See? We are the light of the world. And if we put it on the thing, if we run and hide and deny, see, 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 I'm not shame of the cross. I'm not shame of the cross because I did those sins. I did them. I did them. Nobody did trick me. Just like Adam, I wasn't tricked. Some things I enjoyed, so I did them again. But let me tell you one thing about this sin. This is what I say in the natural man. Oh, I'll never do that. Woke up one day, I was doing it. I said, oh, I would never do that. Woke up one day and I was doing it. Because sin, it don't stand still. It, it, it keeps growing and growing and growing and it'll come to a point 
where you can't hear God no more. You, can't, you have sheared your conscience so badly that you can't hear God no more. Isn't that something? You can't hear God. And so, see, people say, Brother English, uh, uh, God don't talk to me. And I just listen to him. You have to keep listening to him. You say, you know what? I should have followed my first mind. I, you know, uh, 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 I felt that I shouldn't have got on the freeway. Or some people say they even actually heard, uh, don't get up, don't, 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 don't do that. Keep, keep straight. And they got on anyway. See, so, see, see, see. And that's another thing about humans. We lie a lot. We lie a lot. We, 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 we lie a lot. See, we lie a lot because we don't want to say God said it. Well, so we'll say, I should have I should have went with my first conscience. You can go with your third, fourth or fifth conscience. You know, it don't matter. God said the first time. Look at what he said in his word. The first time you hear my voice. Harden not your heart. So that tells you that he talks because he wouldn't put it in his word the first time. But you see, he it, God don't have to speak to you with 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 with, with, with a voice. He can speak spirit to spirit because you, he blew his spirit into you. That's our connection. So, 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 so my spirit said, you know what, you know what, I, I you know, because I, one time I was, I was at a place and this is what I said. Now I don't, I, I think I'm going to go home. Well, they raided that place. The police raided that place because the people was doing some bad stuff, but I know what they was doing there. But I said to myself, I'm not going. See, something had to tell me. Mm, that's not a good idea. See? Don't go here. My wife would say, well, I don't want you to go and work over there. And I would not go to work over there. See? See? So everything is not for you. A like, uh, 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 preacher was talking this morning, and that was one of the things that he was, he was bringing up. He says, if any man will come after me, you first got to deny yourself. And that's a that's a thing that a lot of people won't do. It's just like the Bible says some things come from fasting and praying and we won't fast. But we still expect God to do. No, he said some things come from fasting. But you see, God knows that denying yourself something like that, something like food. We think we can't go without it. See? See? Then, 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 then denying yourself of, of, of a pleasure, of a, of a physical pleasure is good because then you know you can do it. Food is another thing. Say, so like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to, I'm going to deny myself this and, 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 and pick up my cross and follow Jesus. I know I used to see people uh, every year, I don't see it that much anymore, that you see a man walking through the city. Pulling a cross. And I had said young, when I was young in my walk, that I was going to do that one year to, to grab a cross. But see, what would be the reason for that? Ask yourself, what would be the reason for that? Hmm? You think it would bring somebody to, to, to accept Christ? I doubt it. But it might, but I doubt it. And did God tell you to do it? Or is it something you did for you? He says, that which is born of flesh is flesh. Ask yourself, would this please Jesus? And if the answer is no, don't do it. See? Would this please Jesus? Or would this please man? And the Bible says if you're a man pleaser, you're not a pleaser of God. But he said if you please God, you will please man. But that's certain, certain, that's a certain part of man that you please. He said, he said, he said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things, all things are passed away. See, 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 my likes, they, they passed away. Their likes, they passed away. Now, this pandemic, this pandemic has more purpose than killing people. This pandemic has let the church have a real good look at itself. See? Some people have been out of church almost two years, and guess what? They're not tearing the door down. They're not tearing the door down because we made it easy for them. So, well, you can go on, a, go on, go on the Internet and watch it. Don't even, have to, don't even have to get out of bed. Get up and get your breakfast. Go back to bed. I used to do that when I was a sinner. When I was off on Sunday, I'd 
read the newspaper in bed after I'd had breakfast. And then I'd watch football until uh, 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 till I wanted to get up or, uh, or, or, or eat lunch in bed if my wife would bring it to me. He says, uh, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. But that hook, behold, stop. All things are become new. See, so, so it's not overnight. This chain is it's like every time I say I get a revelation, I've come up a little higher. And so have anybody else. Every day that we walk, God is preparing us for the next day. See? He ain't preparing us for yesterday. He's preparing us for something down the road, around the corner, because this is as good as it gets. Look around. This is as good as it gets. People are wondering, are, 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 are the, is, the new, is the new way going to be that we're going to be wearing masks forever? We've been wearing masks in China for I don't know how long. You see? But see, we, 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 we got this thing about uh, uh, somebody messing with our freedom. Somebody messing with our freedom. Even if it's for your betterment. I know I saw the truck drivers in Canada uh, driving, saying, you know, they, and, and then they said these words, and it just messed me up. It said most of the truck drivers have taken the shot, but they don't like it being mandatory. I said, what kind of childish stuff is that? Why are you protesting when you already took the shot? Who Lord. I won't want nobody telling me. I'm grown. If you grown, you don't have to tell nobody. It's ungrown people have to tell you people that they grown. I just tell my kids all the time, if you've grown, you don't have to tell me. You just have to move out of my house and, and be able to support yourself. See? That, that, that tells me you've grown right there. See? If you're still living in your, your child bedroom, your, your, your parents' bedroom, you know. You know I know one time, uh, uh, I think it was my son, told me, he said, Daddy, you can't search my room. I said, take your room out of my house. See, we won't have a problem, see. But as long as it's in my house, I'm going to search it. He says, that which is flesh is flesh. But we got a, we got a God. Hey, he says, it's a cost to be one of my disciples. But there is a good payday. There is a good payday about being one of the disciples of Jesus. You have eternal life and you're going to live forever in a paradise, in a paradise, to be bride of the king. Woo. And I can see us traveling all over space. It looks like a spaceship. I know when I was a little kid, I used to be fascinated with blimps. And then when the blimps would come through our neighborhood, you could actually see people inside the blimp. And I just, I just was so amazed. But I didn't understand that. But that's the way we're going to be doing the church traveling throughout the, the universe, and people will be able to see us. Oh, Lord, the bride. He said, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he, he is a new creature, a new creature. I'm so glad that 30-some years ago, Jesus, like, like one of the deacons say, came down my street. I'm so glad. That he say, will you come? I was so happy to come out from the world. I was so, I was so beat up. I was so tired of being tired. That's salvation. Woo, Lord. It's salvation. And I know that uh, that year that I was sick, I was in the hospital those 10 days. If I was not born again, I believe that I would have had to get up out of here. I don't think I could have made it on my own strength. I think I would have went on home. But see, God had another plan. See, this day can't come unless God intervenes. And see, that's what the devil, the devil didn't want this day to come. He, he, didn't, want, he didn't want me to accept Christ and be a preacher. He didn't want that. See, he didn't want that. He did not want that. But see, that's the kind of God I serve. He looks way down the road. Brother Preacher was talking about that this morning. That, 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 that God said, no, you're not ready for that right now. But down the road, Deacon said he want to 
see what God's going to do. I'm, I'm with him. I want to see what God's going to do. And he said, this preacher said this morning that, that, that when we think he's not coming, he's to prepare because he's finna come. Once we give out, hey, that's when he give in. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. You have to give up this little bit of life that we have here. And it's a little bitty life. Methuselah lived 969 years, and this is what God says. He didn't live a day in God's economy. So, so, so 900 years and you go to hell, hell is forever. Ain't nobody getting out of hell. Everybody that go to hell going to be put in the lake of fire. And they're not going to be able to make it. I'm so glad that God has come my way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He said, put on that new man. Church, put on that new man. And all it means is to pick up your cross daily because it's a fight. Pick up your cross daily because Jesus loved you so much while you was yet sinners. And then the last thing is in the fullness of time is the way my God works. In the fullness of time, God will come. In the fullness of time, God will come. And I'm so glad about it that he will come and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to turn it over to Brother Deacon. Amen. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll. I'll take that mic over there, Jack. Get that mic, too. Yeah. Then, church, be their eyes, saying, according to your faith, it shall do you. And they will see us. Thank you, Jesus. Do you believe Jesus can heal you? Oh, yes. Thank you, you Jesus. Yes, I do. For your faith has made you whole. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Your faith will heal you. Thank you, Lord. It's all about faith. Thank you, Lord. It's all about faith. Thank you, Lord. I believe it. Thank you, Lord. I believe it. I believe it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're made whole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. By faith, she's healed. Thank you, Lord. Thank she's you. Healed. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just when you when you wake up in the at night, just praise the Lord. Say, thank you for healing me. Thank you, Lord. Say, thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. He said, by faith, it makes you whole. By faith. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to believe it. Mm-hmm. We're going to believe it. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. It's done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do not put that on my heart. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I was thinking about what you, you, you said about the baby, how they cry. And you talking about sin. I've said the same thing, fellas. You stay in sin long enough, you do anything. Mm -hmm. Just stay in it long enough. Because sin, I'm gonna say we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just be dismissed. Sin thrive off of evil. Mm -hmm. It can't get better because mm -mm. you have to keep doing something evil in order for it to survive, mm -hmm. and it gets worse. If you stay in long, you'll get just like sin. Mm -hmm. You say, "No, I won't do that. Just stay in it. Just stay in it. Stay in it." But Lord is good though. Yes, he is. Dear Father God, we thank you for healing our sister. We thank you, Lord. Thank you because in your word, Lord, mm -hmm. you said we believe and have faith of a mustard seed. If we just ask, Lord, and believe, mm -hmm. we shall be made whole. Yes. 
So, Lord, we're going to believe it, Lord. We're going to stand on your word. Mm -hmm. Your word. We know we have faith because when we are born again, you give every, every born again believer a measure of faith. Mm -hmm. I don't know how big a measure of faith is. But with the measure of faith and the mustard seed, I believe it's enough faith. Yes. If you believe. So we just thank you and praise you, Lord. Thank you. Again, we lift all the ones on the prayer list in the name of Jesus, Lord. We just thank you. Continue blessing the pastor and give him strength, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you for your mighty works, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we just praise your holy name. Now may the love of God and the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide until we all meet again. And the church say, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you.